Hey guys, Rohan here, uh, bring you another edition of the Rock Brigade series for Def Leppard. Um, yeah, actually I just uh, would have put up a review of the Def Leppard Visual History uh, book, uh, which I hope you guys will be able to check out. And uh, also just recently I did the review of the new album, Def Leppard, Def Leppard, self-titled. Uh, do let me know what you guys think out there. Um, I know from the title of this video, uh, a lot of you may be wondering about what exactly I want to talk about, but uh, this is actually something which I could say is in the making, you know, for a lot of years now, since, especially since I became a Leopard fan, you know, way, way back, uh, close to two decades now being a Leopard fan. Uh, what I really want to talk about, and I hope that for fellow Leopard fans, you know, you guys could also share your thoughts about this as well, is something that seems to baffle me quite a bit um, about Def Leopard in the sense that we know what a great band they are, we know how much they've sold, we know how much they love, we know how much they've influenced. Uh, not just uh, pop as uh, a lot of guys might think, but you know, rock overall, and even heavy metal for that matter. Yeah, for all of you guys who are screaming bloody murder, yes, they have influenced it. Check your history. Um, the funny thing is that um, I'm not sure why this band gets so much of heat though, you know. Um, they just seem to be hated a lot. So what I really tried to do out here in this video is to try and distill about why are the, what are the five reasons why people hate Def Leppard so much. Uh, and I think this band gets a lot more heat than most other bands. In fact, uh, in certain places like you know where I'm from and so on, I mean the very mention of the fact that you're a Def Leppard fan, you have guys coming up wanting to beat the heck out of you. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but the thing is that people uh, sort of take great offense to the fact that you are a Leopard fan, that, you know, you've chosen to be a fan of a band that, you know, has no real value, has no real need to exist, uh, should just fold up and just, uh, you know, go away, uh, so to speak. And uh, the music, uh, you know, genre per se, would be better off without them. Now, this is not just fans, it's even a lot of journalists, it's a lot of magazines, it's a lot of media. I'm not sure, but I gotta hand it to the band is that they've persevered, they've gone on, they've dominated the charts once again, they've done great stuff, and they're still continuing to sell out their arenas and so on. So, without further ado, let's just get into that. Is the first reason I think people sort of hate Def Leppard is because they, they're often the reason you ask them is like, um, I remember one time I was at the Iron Maiden concert, and I love Iron Maiden, part of my trilogy. Um, so we were talking, and this good friend of mine uh, who's in a metal band, and he very openly says he's a Leopard fan, and he happened to ask me that are you going to be going for the Leopard show, uh, which was supposed to happen later that year. So I said, uh, and before I could even answer, these guys when we were talking to behind us were just like, you know, oh, Def Leopard, that sucks. I mean, how the hell can I hate that fucking band? Sorry for the cuss. But uh, they were just sort of saying, you know, all sorts of things, and you could see how people in the group were getting real riled up. It was almost like they had to assert their metal you know, faith or their uh, sort of um, rock, you know, status or something like that. I mean, it's it's a little weird. I mean, no disrespect to those guys. If you don't like a book group, you don't like the music, that's fine. You know, I get that. But it sort of seems like a lot of guys um, just dislike Def Leppard because it's fun to dislike them. It's sort of like, you know, if you sort of like a write the passage or something like that, if I said it right, uh, kind of like if you hate Def Leppard, that makes you cool. Uh, if you diss the band that, you know, or so it's a fan that you are a true rock fan or a true metal fan and so on, which I don't quite get. And you talk to a lot of these guys and they say that, oh, they just suck. And you say, okay, what songs have you heard? And they can't even list a few. They're like, oh, it's not even worth remembering. But then you're like, okay, have you heard anything of Pyromania, High and Dry, Slang, Retroactive, Hysteria and so on? And they just look at you with a blank face and like, no, they just suck. I mean, that's not a real reason to hate a band. I mean, it, the whole idea is to ease into the music sometimes, you know, even if you may not like it. There are a lot of bands that who I initially disliked first, and um, I sort of gave them an opportunity to sort of uh, you know, grow on me, and I ended up liking a lot of those bands. Okay, there's some bands who I may not be too fond of, but I respect them as musicians, but I'm not trying to say that that makes me a great person. I'm just saying that that's usually, you know, for all of us who are rock and metal fans, you know, we sort of look at things that way and sort of, you know, give things that some time to sort of grow on us. So maybe you guys can prob probably give me some insight, sorry, uh, as to what that might be, as to why people just think they suck and don't even give the music an opportunity to actually listen to it and so on. Because there's plenty of great stuff. I mean, guys like, uh, for instance, Dimebag Daryl was a huge fan of early Def Leppard. Um, you know, he loved Pete Willis a lot. And God rest his soul, we all miss Dime. But, you know, I mean, he was out there. And, you know, Vinnie Paul has a lot of respect for Rick Allen, um, you know, as a drummer. And uh, we all know about that. In fact, you know, that's a funny thing because I've heard a couple of these jokes, which is like, uh, 
One has uh, uh, 10 feet, uh, 9 arms and sucks. Yeah, Def Leppard. Uh, what's the difference between a turkey and Def Leppard? The turkey has two drumsticks. Well, guys, it might be a joke, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But the fact of the matter is that Rick Allen was a guy who is widely respected. I mean, he's a guy who lost his arm. His life could have ended right there. And to show a good sort of brotherhood and you know how well and dedicated these guys were. They stood by him. They nursed him back to help. They really were with him. And he became, you know, a drummer. And if you hear stuff from hysteria onwards, you'd never guess unless someone told you that the guy only has one arm. And you hear him live if you think it's all studio effects. And you can see for yourself that when he goes through his solo drumming and how fast he can drum and the techniques and all the things that he can do. I mean, he can put a lot of, you know, guys who have two arms to shame. So... Just give him a shot before you want to like, you know, throw jokes around like that. Okay, again, I'm not accusing you. I'm not trying to sound judgmental. Forgive me if I do. But we'd just really like to know your thoughts. Uh, the other reason which people often uh, speak about is the fact that Steve's dead. And uh, Steve isn't there anymore. And Steve was a real powerhouse of the band. And which in a lot of ways is true. But to say that, you know, Joe, Phil, Vivian, Savage, and to some extent Rick... Uh, are not good songwriters in themselves and can't put out good music is kind of false. I mean, you listen to a lot of stuff. Uh, we won't, let's take post vault era, even if you listen to Slang, if you're not a fan of it, some songs, Euphoria, some, uh, a few couple of good songs of X, which I thought, um, you listen to songs from the Sparkle Lounge and you listen to Def Leppard, the new album, you can clearly see that you know, this is a band that has, you know, put in a lot of good effort. Um, Mirrorball, undefeated, you know, uh, that's another prime example of how good the band is. So, yes, Steve was a powerhouse. Yes, it's extremely sad. I think all of us as Leopard fans would have loved to have seen him remain in the band. But I think what Steve would be proud of is the band went on. They played his music live. They remember him so well. The fans adore him still. And we've, you could really see the band has done justice to his legacy and, you know, marched on. And it's kind of like uh, a lot of famous bands which lost some very key musicians along the way tragically and how they, you know, plowed on. Uh, and I think Def Leppard's done the same thing. They've actually, you know, marched on and, you know, done as much as they could, you know, to try and build themselves up and, you know, have maintained that. And they've still sold really well and they're still a very solid force, you know, in music today. The other thing is uh, there are two eras of fans. You know, there's the fans of uh, from the EP till Pyromania and then there are the fans from Hysteria onwards. And Hysteria is kind of like the uh, middle ground, you know, where some fans end and the new set of fans begin. And the fans for the former part always feel that Def Leppard doesn't play rock anymore. But uh, again, I can understand where they're coming from. I love all the edgy stuff of the first three albums. You guys have seen the reviews. Um, I just think that, you know, uh, it's just important to not look at it this way, that even if you don't like the whole album or all the albums that came out post Pyromania or post Hysteria, but at least you can at least uh, commend the band for the fact that you know they have put out a lot of good hits and a lot of good rock music to be done you know, to be savored and sampled out here. I mean, just from the fact of, uh, even if you felt like, let's say, for instance, Adrenalize was a little poppy, uh, you could go into, like, say, Retroactive or Slang. Euphoria's got some great rock songs, uh, songs from the Sparkle Lounge, the new album Def Leppard, and so on. So there's plenty of good music to actually be had out there. And obviously, you know, personally, I would love it if, uh, you know, a, a Pyromania Part 2 came out or High and Dry or On Through the Night. But... Uh, at the same time, I would like to see the band evolving this song, but yes, bringing that nice, gritty, hard rock edge into it even more would be good. And the new album definitely does give me hope that if uh, the next album, when should it appear before the decade closes or maybe the next decade, hopefully we won't have to wait that long, uh, would have some elements like that. So let's see. Uh, maybe it just might actually happen that way. And uh, another argument often is that uh, Def Leppard is actually a ripoff of Aerosmith and Bon Jovi. I don't get this argument at all. Um, they sound nothing like Aerosmith and Bon Jovi. Yes, okay, you have Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith, Bon Jovi, all these guys in the mix. I love all those bands that have tons of their albums and music and so on, adore them as well. But Leopard is a band in their own right. They've carved their own path and so on. And to say that they're kind of a ripoff or just copying someone else is not exactly a fair statement. In fact, if you could say anything that, not to say with these bands, but a lot of other bands, many bands have been influenced by the Def Leopard sound, you know, and have in fact, you know, often, you know, tried to copy their sound in many ways. Uh, is Def Leopard inspired by its peers? Definitely, I'm sure they are. But to say that they're ripping off uh, other bands and all that is not a fair statement. It means you obviously haven't really paid attention to 
the chronology of when albums came out, when songs came out, because Def Leppard compared to a lot of other contemporaries, not Aerosmith and Bon Jovi per se, but other bands uh, and so on, uh, is much older, you know, and their albums came out a lot earlier than some of those albums, which uh, some guys have been talking about. But all in all, I'm just glad for the fact that we have our Aerosmiths, Bon Jovi, Def Leppard, Guns N' Roses, all these guys sitting in that same bucket because it's given us rock fans such a great platter of great music to actually savor and enjoy. Um, and I think the final reason why people um, dislike Def Leppard is uh, they somehow feel that uh, Leppard kind of plays the same music over and over again. Uh, to that, again, I'm going to cite back to my review of, uh, say, slang or even retroactive. Um, even if you want to look at even the new album, Def Leppard, as well, it's diverse. They've tried to obviously expand their sound. They've never been a band that stagnated. Even X, even though a lot of you guys know it's not exactly my favorite album, they've tried to you know go in a different direction. They at least are trying to be bold with their music. And uh, there are a lot of other bands, you know, who have changed their sound. They're no longer the same hard rock bands, bands from the 80s, let's say. You know, they've changed the sound. They're still getting all the love, all the attention, minimum criticism and so on. But uh, expectations are always going to be unusually high with Def Leppard. But I think it's just a little unfair to sort of say that, you know, they play the same thing over and over again. But I would like to know what you guys think. Um, these are the kind of the reasons which I have sort of uh, been able to distill and sort of put down as to what, uh, as to why people dislike the band uh, and why they think they aren't that good or worth listening to or why it's uh, something that, you know, is something that should be just dismissed. I would like to know your thoughts and your views. Uh, even if you guys don't like the band, I would still love to know what you guys think. Uh, I'm not, again, trying to uh, stand up and put judgment on anyone. Excuse me if that's how it sounded in this video. Um, I just want to share my thoughts on everything. Respect all the bands I've mentioned. Love all of those bands. Uh, Always will love Def Leppard um, till my dying day, I guess. Uh, no, not I guess. I will. <laughs> I will. Um, but yeah, would love to know what you guys think and um, probably what you guys uh, might feel. So hit me back. Let me know what uh, it is in the comment section below. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good chat about different elements. And uh, for those of us who are eagerly awaiting new things from Def Leppard, I look forward to posting up some more reviews and some more uh, thoughts on those. Uh, so till then, you guys take care, rock on, enjoy the music, and I'll see you later. Bye.